Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Man, y'all are probably getting sick and tired of seeing this Solus watch. I hope you're not. I love this thing. And uh, this one, we're not actually looking at the watch, but I want to look at specifically the deployant buckle. And I want to compare it to a bunch of other ones because I want this to be an enthusiast and a hobbyist channel. And so I want to talk about the types of things that you'll only learn by being in the hobby or getting to experience some of these things. And in this case, I've come to learn that not all deployant clasps are created equal. And part of that could be my eight inch wrist. Oh, if we need a wrist check, I've got on this Formex. This is a loaner from a buddy. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's got like this carbon case and Formex is known for their deployment class, but we'll talk about that. I've actually got another one. I've got this one and then I've got some Seikos, but not all of these are created equal and not all of them have the same level of comfort on wrists. Now, keep in mind, I've got an eight inch wrist. And so for some of you folks who have a smaller wrist, you may not experience the drawback that I do with a couple of these. And I'll explain that in a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Eight inch wrist, Formex is actually the number one in all of them, and it's mainly because they have a built-in micro adjust. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But even without that built-in micro adjust, there's something to this style, which I first experienced on a Hamilton, but this Solus has it as well. It's kind of the same design. And so that's what I wanna talk about real quick. All right, so with that, let me get some watches moved around. I got way too many watches piled up over here. And let's first talk about this one. This is a Hamilton GMT. It's the Jazz Master, and it specifically has kind of the world map on the dial. And this watch is awesome. This watch is just cool. But here's what I want to talk about. This was my first experience with this kind of a deployant clasp. You'll notice, I don't know if it's called sandwich style. I've heard others refer to it kind of as a sandwich style. But you'll notice that the band tucks underneath this section of the clasp and then it's got this one here that's a normal kind of large swing arm that your class might have compared to like a butterfly style class, for example. And that's it. But what happens is when you put that on wrist, this little piece is the only thing that kind of sticks out. This, because the strap is underneath, it sits very nicely and comfortably on the underside of your wrist. Again, you can see I've got this one here, that one. It sits on the other side. And most importantly, if you can see, look at where this one sits. You see the curvature on this, where the, it starts to curve up. All of them have that. Let's take a look real quick. This curvature right here, okay? What I found is that if you have a larger wrist, this curvature could dig into your hand or under the underside of your wrist right here and make it really uncomfortable to wear. So let me fast forward a little bit, right? This was my first experience, right? Let's go chronologically. This was my first experience and I really liked this one. And I was like, oh man, you know, I like that. And I actually have some butterfly style class. So like the, here's one, and I do not mind a butterfly style class because usually that underside, it doesn't have a big, um, you know, bend right here. And so my wrist is able to sit on there and functionally, I don't mind it so much. I do not love that it doesn't have micro adjust, you know, and that's the common complaint that you get with this is that, oh, there's no micro adjust and that's a legit and valid complaint, right? But overall, I don't understand why butterfly class get as much hate as they do. And I don't tend to mind them, but this is comfortable. That one sits on me fine. The Hamilton sits on me fine. Then I got this Seiko strap. This is the cream dial new Seiko prospects Alpinist. And it came with this strap and the strap is fantastic. I like everything about this strap, but the deployant clasp, look at how much curve that has. 
And the way that this is sized with that curvature right here, right? And you'll see here that this, so the way that this works, it doesn't go underneath it. Oh, sorry. It doesn't go underneath it. It slides in right there and then actually sits up here on top. And so you'll notice there's nothing right here sitting underneath my wrist. And so this clasp was just sitting there and this was just digging in. I mean, even if I hold it right here, like you can see where the watch was sitting, it was sitting like this and just digging into my arm. I wore it like that for about an hour, immediately got up and took the strap off. Now, I haven't checked the measurements of this. It very well may be that I can just change out this deployment clasp. And again, I would say if you have a smaller wrist, then this will probably sit over here and the curvature would probably hug your wrist a little bit better than it's hugging mine. But for me, that right there, the giant curvature, let me get that zoomed in, the giant curvature, right? I mean, that, that feels like it's a much deeper curve. Look at these side by side, right? Look at the difference of curve. And so the Seiko was just like a shovel digging into my arm. So anyway, that's what I want to talk about. That's the main one. Here's another option. That is the Formex. This you'll notice is more of a butterfly style. It goes above the way that the Seiko does, and it kind of has this butterfly, okay, attachment system to it, which is quite different than this one. Again, I call, I don't know if Hamilton is the one who designed this, but Hamilton was my first experience with it. So you're gonna probably hear me refer to this as the Hamilton deployant style class. But yeah, it's just this kind of overall, I think Omega does this as well, but this style right here, and so this one's a little bit different. This is on an older, this is on my Formex chronometer, for Formex Essence chronometer, not the new like 39 or whatever, the smaller one, it's the, the original, the OG. And it's really cool because it's got on the fly micro adjust. You can push this down right here, and then you'll notice that this will move. And so that gives you on the fly adjustments when your hand, um, when your wrist swells or goes down. And so this one right here, I've, I've not had any problems with that. And in fact, I've been wearing it on the bracelet and I'm getting ready to put it back on this strap because this was so comfortable, even though it's the butterfly style. Formax, Formax is where it's at, I, in my opinion. Here, that little silver button right there is what changes this one. So you can see here, I can push that in and I can, I can go in, sorry, you can see that I was wearing it on the outer part. I click it and I pull it all out. So this is a lot more sleek. Uh, it's also a lot lighter because I'm guessing this is made out of that carbon and whatever, kind of like the case is. But Formex, I believe, sells these on their website. And so tell me down in the comments, has anybody ordered just the clasp from Formex? And did you have a good experience with that? Did you notice that it installed easily to the watches? And do they make different sizes of these? Because, for example, I really like this green leather strap for the Seiko but I just hate this clasp. And so I'm almost curious if I could get a Formex clasp to go on it, then I might do that. But of course I got to check measurements and all of that stuff. But yeah, so this Solus, like I said, it's got one of these that was very comfortable on a wrist. It's the same style as my Hamilton and as my Formex, but without the micro adjust, mind you. My Hamilton doesn't have micro adjust either. But this style right here is where it's at. Minimal curvature and it just sits on the wrist great. Formex is, is knocking it out of the park. I think they're currently the front runner, but yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Deploying clasp. Tell me, what do y'all think? Have you also had to take a clasp off because it didn't wear well? The other one that I come close to experiencing this with is G-Shock. Y'all know that I love G-Shock squares. The standard rubber straps, because I'm on like the second to last loop or whatever, they just don't wear comfortably. And so I take them off the strap and I put combi bracelets on everything, specifically the V1 combi. But yeah, what do y'all think? Have you found some that you like? More importantly, have you found some that you don't like? And maybe why? Is it because you've got a larger wrist and because it digs in like that Seiko one did to me? Um, have you ordered Formex? I'm curious. Formex is one of those where I was 
kind of curious about them at first and uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to be worth it, but I'm having a similar experience with them that I had with Christopher Ward. The more I experience them, the more I really, really, really like them. You know, again, I got to experience the essence and I bought it. <laughs> I ended up buying it, adding it to my collection. And now I've got this one in on loan and I like this one a lot. I don't like the overall aesthetic. So I'll do another video on this one. On one hand, this watch makes me feel like I'm Batman, but on another note, like I wear it and I kind of get bored with it. Um, it doesn't capture my attention. So I don't know why that is, but maybe it's just me. And I don't love DLC kind of cases. And this kind of reminds me of a DLC case, like a black DLC case. But anyway, class, tell me what you think. What do you love? What do you not love? And I, maybe this is a dumb question. Has anybody ever bent one of these? Part of me is wondering if I could just heat that up and flatten it a little bit. I don't know. I'm probably not going to go through that much effort. All right, my friends, until we talk again, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.